Ooh, guys, just in general, I really wish that the songs on the radio that were played on the radio 24-7 died as fast as memes do. Like, two, like, one to four weeks dead. But, uh, dude, all of these songs that, with male singers on the radio, is either about being a cuck or being gang-related, basically. And there's, there's no in between, and I hate both of them so much. But these songs about being a cuck, oh, if you're playing me, just keep it on the low. <laughs> Baby, if, if, you're, if you're getting dicked down by dozens of other guys, just keep it on the low. <laughs> I, I'm so obsessed with you, I have one itis. Don't, don't let me find out about it. <laughs> if, if you're getting dicked down by other guys 24 7 when I'm not there, just to keep it on the low, don't let me find out about it. You're you're a professional singer, brother. Why? What? What purpose would you have to be a cuck? Why? Why would you not want a girl to be loyal to you? It, that's just one itis, bro. It's, oh, oh, she's so perfect. I can never find a, another girl that perfect, brother. She she has zero respect for you. She has, she doesn't even respect you enough to not get dicked down by other guys. And you're telling her to just keep it on the low? That's so disgusting. I might puke in my Garfield movie bucket right now, dude. That's so... Like, why? How are you, How do you become that cucked as a man? You're making millions of dollars. I'm sure you're decent looking to girls. I mean, it would, it would be bizarre if you were like a... Like a pop singer incel redditor, you know. Uh, so I'm sure you're decent looking to girls. Why would you ever take that level of disrespect ever? Like, <laughs> but dudes struggle from one itis so much. <laughs> the second a girl shows them any sort of attention whatsoever, they're just like, "Oh, this girl's so perfect," and it's like, "Hmm, hmm, hmm." Like how how. Like, you would never catch me telling a girl that if she's getting dicked down by tens of others of dudes, uh, to keep it on the low. That's so disgusting. Like, <laughs> no, I do. I want to go through your phone. I want to find out if that you're getting dicked down by other dudes so I can leave. You know, if, if or if a girl is ever like, hey, baby, can we try a polyamorous relationship? It's like, oh, you want to get fucked by other dudes? Yeah, yeah, sure, that's perfectly fine. Get the fuck out of my car, dude. I would push her right out of my car. I don't care if I'm going 95 miles an hour at 2 a.m. on the highway. I am pushing her the fuck out of my car if she asks me if, she, if, if I'm okay with her getting dicked down by other dudes. What the fuck? No? 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 But you have millionaire pop singers... They're like, oh, if you're getting dicked down by other dudes, just keep it on the low. I don't want to find out because I'm obsessed with you. Yeah, I'm obsessed with you. And that's literally how the song goes. And it's like, and then you, you, you have like millions of leftist alt girls that are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just secure in his masculinity and you're not. <laughs> it's like, okay, bitch, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I'm at the movie theater. I'm about to go see the exorcism by myself eating popcorn. Uh, it's so, that's so significantly better. I'm getting, you know, free ticket, free popcorn, free water cup, by the way, spending zero dollars about to go watch this movie. That's so, so much of a significant better idea than having some bitch in my passenger seat scream her head off about me, about many school things, while also getting dicked down by other dudes and keeping it on the low. And it's, it's so, like, <laughs> call me an incel. Tell me I have an incel mindset. I I don't care. I don't care. It is a better option. I'm, I, I just, I, and you know, I was thinking about getting a little Caesars pizza before this, but I was like, I don't really, I don't really have that much time because by the time I went to little Caesars and then came back and it, it would be like basically getting into the advertisements and then I'd be like starving down pizza. Is it really worth paying seven fifty for that? I don't know, bro. Maybe not. Dude, that shit, like it low key sounded good. 
but still even if i was whew, just eating pizza eating a few slices of pizza by myself again significantly better bro like i understand now when when i when i was a virgin i was like i don't really get like why people would go a year with being celibate and I'm, I'm starting to understand why why people would choose like willingly go a year with, with being celibate bro and like <laughs> being by yourself once you get like once you go through your first breakup and you get comfortable being by yourself like truly like knowing like yeah you've had sex before you could get sex again you get like a few <coughs> a few bodies so you have the confidence in you to get more and then you get comfortable by yourself and it's like fuck you know i'm just sitting here talking to you guys and I'm not telling a woman that if she's getting dicked down by other dudes just to keep it on the low. Another cuck song on the radio is, um, and I thank God every day for the woman he sent my way. One itis, brother. One itis. Um, the whole concept of God sending the one is one itis within itself. And it's not necessarily a bad thing because I guess you want. You want to have that loyalty, but it can absolutely destroy you if you're uh, blinded by the one I just saying like, oh, this girl's the one you're saying this girl's the one. And then you're ignoring this. You're ignoring this. You're ignoring this. You're ignoring this. Not other girls you are ignoring this red flag, this red flag, this red flag, this red flag, this disloyalty, uh, constantly screaming at you, constantly texting other guys, you know, this, 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 and that you are trying, you've built a wall around the concept in your head that this girl is the one. And it's just not a true concept. If, if she broke up with you, you would be depressed for two months and then you would find another the one. And so the concept of one-itis within men is a false concept that blinds them and just, you know, very much hurts, hurts them on a spiritual level, on a mental level, and oftentimes on a physical level as well. Uh, so it's very unhealthy to say that a girl is the one. I mean, if, if you if, maybe if you've been married for like five years, you can start uh, settling into that concept. But I don't know. It's st still dangerous to think to have this mindset that you're never, ever going to be able to find a replacement girl. Um, because then it, 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 it becomes like a victim manipulation, like It'll be so easy for her to be sort of grasping you down. If, if you think that this is the one and she's going to be grasping you down like this, um, it, it becomes very easy to become used, uh, to be okay with disrespect, to be okay with being cheated on, being okay with a lot of other things. Uh, when you believe that somebody is the one and you're never going to be able to find somebody else like her, it's a very, very dangerous mindset to have that can very easily lead lead you into a victimhood of multiple different types of abuse within relationships uh and if, if you just accept the fact that like you'll just be depressed for a couple of months and then you're going to find another the one it becomes a lot easier to control your boundaries and control women not like to not accept anything less than you should. It becomes lots easier to do that. And when you become happy by yourself, you're going to make a girl a lot happier because you're just not, not being attached with her. And not being like, oh my gosh, baby, 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 I need you, baby. Not being like that anxiously attached to her uh is attractive and for her to know that your life would continue without her is deeply attractive because nobody wants to feel needed in a way it's actually i i know that sounds opposite to maybe what society would teach you or how you think it should be but think about a homeless guy dude the homeless guy is such a perfect example for this because a homeless guy he could be like 
hey, uh, do you have a dollar? And then you're like, and you didn't either be like yes or no. You know, you might check your wallet and it's like, hmm, do I have like a few dollars to give this guy? And maybe you do, and that's great. And then you give and you give him the three dollars. He has the three dollars now. And then you know, that's a, that's that's a very great dynamic. It's a very great charitable moment. However, if the homeless guy came up to you and was like, ah, please, sir, please, sir, please, sir, give me $3, give me $3 right now, I need you, I need you to give me $3, sir, 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 you, no, no. And you'd be like, what the fuck? You would feel, you would still feel bad for him, especially later on. Because you'd be like, damn, like, this guy's homeless. Uh, and it, it was like he's in a, sh a shitty situation, but at the same time, he shouldn't be attacking you like that. He shouldn't be. He shouldn't be grasping on to the concept of you giving him three dollars that harshly. You know what I mean? He shouldn't be harassing you for the three dollars. And. If, if a homeless guy did that to you, you, you'd like push him off. You'd be like, what the fuck? I, and you'd be like, dude, give me some space, bro. Give me some space. And it, it, it's the exact same with girls. When you're like, oh, I need you, baby. My life won't be the same without you, baby. Ah, ah, ah. It's, 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 uh, it's unattractive to women. So when you're happy by yourself, uh, it, it, it's great for you. It's great for you first and foremost. It's great for your own mental. Just knowing that you can exist by yourself in a happy manner and at an elevated level. Whoa, that's very great for your mental. But it's also great for any other person that's going to be entering your life because it's it's a it's significantly better. Hmm. But yeah, guys, um, don't be cucked. Don't get one-itis. Be happy by yourself. I don't really know if there's an overwhelming point to this video. I guess we made a few points this video. And I'll be... Uh, I have to record my... The Exorcism review. I think my phone's going to be about dead. If not dead. When I record that, hopefully... Maybe I'll just record a short for that. Uh, who knows? I'll see you guys in the next one, though. Peace.